So, hello fellow coin collectors, how you going? This is Glenn, back with another video. And today, we are going to have a look at the value of the 1966 silver 50 cent coin. So, here I am on eBay, and I use eBay quite a lot because it's actually a good place to actually get coin prices on coins from a lot of countries. So... This one is the Australian 50 cent coin. And the first one we have is starting price of $9 for these two coins. And that's actually a pretty good price. So I'm going to watch that. And see if that actually gets any bids. But the uh, 50 cent coin, as you can see, I have it sorted from lowest to pro highest and that includes postage because I include postage in whatever I buy now as you can see $12.95 includes a lot that's the cheapest you're actually going to get it to buy it on eBay uh, and then then you have one for $10 that's probably an okay price and as you can see uh, they've got very fine limited circulation so uh, I think there's like 50, 34 million, not 54, 34 million. Postage is a bit too high. Uh, photos are not that good. Let's see, if, I suppose for ten dollars, um, a lot of people are not really going to worry about photos. Then you got some other coins actually increasing price, but this one's got. Uncirculated and looks like a bit scratches. Could be from uh, being damaged by other coins. But apart from that, it doesn't look like it has uh, much wear on it. Just a lot of scratching. That's a bit. It's probably probably almost uncirculated. And. Did they say where they got that from? Okay, so got some information. Uh, no. Doesn't say if it come out of a, a, a mint roll, so we don't know anything about that. And then you just got some other ones that are actually overpriced. So $28. $26, these are just overpriced, so I actually wouldn't recommend anyone actually buying these. Uh, 21, 28, no. Uh, 47, nah. If it's uncirculated, yeah, probably, probably about $15 to $18, so I'd recommend someone buying it. If it's circulated, probably no more than $12. I really wouldn't worry about it. So then we go to... Sold items. And as you can see, this one sold for eight dollars, including postage, so about seven dollars. Uh, come on, the photos. It's obviously quite circulated, pretty bad condition. Then we have other ones, so thirteen dollars, including postage. So that's about twelve dollars if you take away postage. Obviously, it does has been in circulation. You can tell with all the scratches on it. So, yep, been in circulation. Still in good condition. I think the bullion value is about eight dollars, but this is eBay and they have extra costs, so you're not really going to get it for eight dollars. Oh, if you shop around, you might be lucky. So yeah, about thirteen dollars, so including postage. I'll uh, have a lot of them at that price. $7.50 postage, $10, $3 postage. So really people are looking around about $10 to $12. And here we have one in very good condition. Uh, it looks actually, this coin actually looks quite nice. Uh, come on. Come on, there you go. Actually, if I actually saw that coin, I would, I would have bought it myself. Because, have a look. It's in very good condition. 
Uh, the photos are actually quite good. I don't think the photos lie on this coin. Of course, you can see it has some minor circulation on the top. Uh, the colour seems fine. It has some toning. Looks like it's getting a rainbow colour. Uh, it has some bag marks from other coins. So if we look at this side, you can see a lot of scratching. So this is really what photo you actually want to see in a coin and it shows you the true condition of the actual coin you can see it has a, a lot some dark darker toning uh, from where it's been um, sitting around somewhere and as you can see down the bottom it's quite a nice coin. I definitely would have brought this coin. Uh, it has some scratches on the side, but I just like the colour of it. I'm not too sure if that's really the actual colour in real life, but um, the, those photos are actually pretty good. So, uh, I wouldn't buy ones from... Like, these photos are actually terrible. Ah, uh, come on. You can't really, on this coin you can, half it's too bright, you can't really tell that much. It's a bit blurry. Uh, this one you can't really pick out the true condition. And neither this one, this one you can't really see much detail on it. So, unless you, and they don't even have the other side. Do they have it in the description? No, so those photos are pretty good, but uh, for $10 per coin, yeah, why not? Close to bullion value, and then you have other ones, so it's so about 10 to $12 per coin if it's a circulated coin, uh, a little bit higher if it is an uncirculated coin, so $15, $18, but if you're paying more than that, then I'll advise you not to actually do it, because they they will be overpriced. There is a, enough coins to said um, to satisfy the market, but there is not too much demand that it actually drives the price up. So people generally get these; they have one in their collection, and whatever else they actually get, they collect it because they're probably uh, stacking silver. So here we have uh, 100 pieces, sold for $500, so it's nearly $5 per piece. So if you got $500, then uh, you could buy a lot like that. So it's actually a very good buy, it's less than bullion value. And really, do you really want to sell these for less than bullion value? Probably not. So these ones are actually good buy, 100 pieces, 300, god, wish I had that much money. And it looks like they're all from the same seller, so who is that that's actually selling them? So if you've got enough money, these are the ones you should actually get. No feedback. Neg Ooh, that's actually very bad if it's got negative 3. Okay, let's have a look. What happened? Okay, it looks like they actually... They didn't want to sell it. I'm not surprised. Look at the price they actually sold for, so... Right, this this seller. Who is this? Oops. Sorry, I'm getting a bit dizzy. Same person, Astro. Is this the same seller? Astro, yeah. So it looks like he just cancelled the lot. So probably don't buy off that person. They probably won't send the actual coin. And here is one that's actually being graded. So it's a proof one. 
1966 they actually did issue proof coins and this is proof 62 cameo that actually is a very nice coin and the photos are actually pretty good for going through plastic they've actually done a good job on those photos as you can see it has some toning some discoloration which is a pity but yeah that's a nice coin how much did that one sell for $290 for proof coin so anyway those are the prices that you'll be paying for silver 50 cent coins anyway i'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video and uh please just have an awesome coin collecting time thank you and bye bye <coughs>